Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Podcast. I am Adele Kwon Bolanle, and today, Sunday, May 26th, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens today is, He is a Rewarder. Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you for the privilege to be alive today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for all that you have given unto us. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that even as we go into your word this morning, Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. We pray that you know you nourish us with your word and help us to grow according to your word in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Our memory verse for today is taken from Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and it reads, But without faith it is impossible to please God, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Our Bible passage is taken from Matthew chapter 10 from verse 40 to 42. I read from the New Living Translation. Anyone who receives you, receives me. And anyone who receives me, receives the Father who sent me. If you receive a prophet as one who speaks for God, you will be given the same reward as a prophet. And if you receive the righteous people because of their righteousness, you will be given reward like theirs. And if you give even a cup of cold water to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go into the open heavens as written by our Father in the Lord. Peter's encounter with Jesus at the lake of Gennesaret is a pointer to the fact that our Lord is indeed a generous rewarder. Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 7. He allowed the Lord to use his boat as a pulpit and was rewarded with such a great catch of fish that his boat began to sink. He had to call additional ants to help him manage his breakthrough. There are many areas of service that attract God's generous rewards. One of such is partnering with God to advance the agenda of heaven. This was what happened in Peter's case. Another act that brings heavenly reward is obedience to the Lord's instruction. You can see this in the story of Abraham, who obeyed God when he was instructed to get out of his father's house to a place God would show him. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 4. He obeyed even though he did not know where he was going. As if that wasn't enough, when he was eventually blessed with Isaac, the child of promise. He was asked to sacrifice him as a burnt offering, and again he obeyed. As a result of his obedience, God rewarded him with an everlasting covenant of blessing and multiplication. Genesis chapter 22 from verse 15 to 17. Another area of service that receives God's attention for generous rewards is hospitality. An example is the story of the Shunammite woman who was, uh, who was so generous to prophet Elisha that the Lord rewarded her with a son, a gift money could not buy. 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 18 to 19. The story of the widow of Zarephat is another example of how God rewards hospitality. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 9 to 16. She sacrificed her last meal and that brought about meals that sustained a family throughout a famine. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels on our ways. God also rewards people who host his presence in their homes. According to 2 Samuel chapter 6 to 11 to 14, God blessed Obed Edom so much for housing the Ark of the Covenant that it became the envy of the king. 
This is a great lesson to those who are reluctant to submit their homes as house fellowship meeting centers. Such people don't know the blessing they are missing out on by denying God the use of their space. Beloved, as today's memory verse declares, our God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek, serve, obey, and honor Him. Use this to your advantage today. Hallelujah. So today our Father and the Lord is talking to us and is encouraging us that God is a rewarder. That there is nothing we do for God that He does not see. God sees everything we do for Him and He will definitely reward us for everything that we do for Him. God rewards our efforts, our labor of love. God is always there to reward us for the things that we have done. Yes, the reward may not come when we want it to come. Neither does it come the way we want it to come. But it is sure that God will always reward all our labor of love, especially when we labor for Him in sincerity and genuity of heart. So our Father in the Lord today listed some of the things that we can do to bring God's reward into our life. And he spoke about obedience. Our Father and the Lord spoke about obeying God. When you obey God, God rewards our obedience. God is always um, rewarding obedience. God loves obedience. He loves obedience. And when you obey him, he will reward you for your obedience. Like the case of Abraham who left his father's house without even knowing where to go in obedience to the word of God. And he even obeyed God when God said, okay, sacrifice your child. God is always rewarding obedience. Another case is the case of Peter that gave what he had to God to be used for the kingdom of God. God used Peter's boat to preach. And after his boat was used to preach, God turned his wasted efforts into multiple increase. He has been ca- trying to catch fish all night and he couldn't catch any fish. But after God, Jesus used his boat to preach, he had so much catch that he had to call other people to come and help him. Then another way God can reward us is when we are hospitable. When we are hospitable. I understand that sometimes it can be difficult to be hospitable Especially when you are going through things yourself. Like the Shunammite woman who was without a child. But she was not angry with the man of God. That, oh, God has not given me a child. I will not be hospitable to him. She still hosted the man of God. And that brought her at the miracle she was looking for. And the same thing with the widow of Zarephath. That even though she did not have, she still gave to the prophet. And fed the prophet. And that became a breakthrough for her. And another way is that when we host the presence of God in our house through our fellowship, then God also blesses us and favors us and increases us. I pray that the Lord will help us and he will grant us the grace to do his will and to follow him because apart from all these things that are listed, if as long as you keep doing the things of God, if you are holy, God will reward you. If you are righteous, God will reward you. If you do the things of God the way you should do it, God will definitely reward you. If you work for God, He will reward you. There are so many other things that we can do to bring the to uh, receive the reward of God. And I pray that God will grant us the grace and He will grant us the strength to receive His reward. He will grant us the grace and the strength to do the things that He wants us to do, and He will surely reward us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our key point for today, God never overlooks anything you do for him. He will always reward you. A hymn in 26, there shall be showers of blessing. And our Bible in one year is from Job chapter 1 to chapter 4. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. And remember to share this episode with your friends and family. Thank you for listening once again. God bless you and have a great day.